everybody. He is arguably the internet's cutest and most popular therapy dog. He's a philanthropist, not to mention a fashion forward snappy dresser. I would go as far as say a supermodel. At just seven inches tall, it's his unique perspective that gives us some big life lessons. Please welcome to our home the incomparable, the one and only Norbert and his human companion, Julie Stein. My family. So, so, Julie, truly, I'm not even exaggerating. Norbert has amassed millions and millions of followers on his social media platforms, way more than all of us combined and all of us could even dream of having. This is a true story. What do you think it is about Norbert that makes him so magical? Well, I don't know if he's a supermodel, but he's definitely super. Um, Norbert Aww. is a little dog with a big heart. You guys know he's also just a unique little creature. Um, he has the ability to make people smile just by being himself. Yeah. You know, he doesn't have to do anything. Oh. He's like a little unicorn. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. he gives really amazing high fives. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, and everything he does is, is so adorable because of his no. tiny size and his little oh. tongue sticking out. Um, I just and sit and watch him at home all day long because he's so cute. Like he'll he'll go after a sock like nobody's business. Oh, I know. <laughs> the only toy he plays with is a stinky sock. I always tell oh. the kids that we visit. You know. Who needs you to look at the new baby at home when you got this little? I know. Well, they're good buddies. You know. Well, let's not get crazy. That baby's pretty cute, yeah. Samantha. Yeah. But those smiles that you're talking about are, are what he brings to the faces of the people who really need it most. Yeah, absolutely. Norbert's a therapy dog, and he volunteers at Children's Hospital to make oh. the kids smile. He does his little tricks. Um, they get to pat him. He makes them forget about why they're there. It's it's a mm -hmm. remarkable how he changes the energy when he goes into a room. It's so heartwarming. It's so true, and he does it. It's for, he changes the energy in any room. Oh. You know, it's true. Yeah. Anytime he comes around, the whole crew and cast yeah. is, oh. It's really such an yeah. honor. You know, the book that you guys have put together really is a family affair. It's a beautiful book. You oh. co-wrote it with your, your mother, Dr. Virginia Firemurth, who's also an amazing artist, by yeah. the way. She is absolutely wonderful. Mark, you took all the beautiful photographs Thank inside. You. They're so wonderful. You know, it's also, my favorite part about the book is that it's written in Norbert's voice. <laughs> he really has a specific voice. What is Norbert's voice, Julie? Uh, he's, Norbert's a man of few words, <laughs> but I feel like what he says is really important. You know, the messages um, about just being yourself. You know, I mean, he's like, I'm fluffy, I love it. Find out what you love about yourself, right. you know, and celebrate that because we're all unique. Mm -hmm. So there's just messages like that throughout the book that we think are really important and we hope inspire people. It, you know? it may be little lessons, but they're super profound. Yeah. They really are very yeah. profound. And by the way, the book has already reached bestseller status. So congratulations. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think it is about this book that has struck a chord with people? Um, I think it's just, there's a lot of troubling things happening in the news. I think it came out at a time when the world, sorry, when the world really needs it. I do. Um, I'm very proud of it for that, and I, I hope it makes people smile. Like I say, with every page you turn, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a smile. There Little Norby. And those pictures, Mark, are they're beautiful. Oh, they are so beautiful. Oh. And I'm just going to be completely honest here. Oh, boy. I'm, you be honest as well. Okay. Wow. What was it like photographing him? Was he a diva? <laughs> a little bit of a diva. Was he? Yes, he only works for snacks. Uh, always like sticking us, his kinda. tongue out at me all the time. <laughs> no, you know what? It's, I, I didn't take it lightly because you know how many followers he has. No, it's true. So he's, yeah. But they love him in all shapes and sizes. But the, the number one thing, though, was his safety at all times, you know, because we, we did some fun things with him. And he's but, little. But, and I always want to make sure that he was comfortable. But, for example, here's a, here's a good point. There's a, one of the sayings, one of his lessons is it's not the destination, it's how you travel through life. Right. Yeah. So I was like, how do I tell that in a picture? And I thought, let's get an inflatable little froggy <laughs> and put him in the pool. And Drew's like, I don't know about the pool. Yeah. But we did it. We, we found a little like inflatable yeah. thing and we thought this will be so cute. And I employed two very qualified lifeguards, Kai Your and sons. Avery. Yeah. And we put him in, we put <laughs> him in the pool and, and Julie was right there. Um, uh, Norbert had her eye, his eyes on her the entire time. And we were like, we want to do a picture that actually says something. And here's the, here's Here's the final picture oh of Lil Norbert traveling through the world in style. Just the because it's about how you, it's the, the process of going there and not just getting to that destination. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. We did. Mm -hmm. 
You know, there, every picture is beautiful, and I think that every picture is my favorite, but then I came across one picture that was absolutely my favorite and will be everybody else's favorite, I promise you this. Oh. And it literally, literally stopped the presses. Oh. The book did not go to print because of this picture until they had the picture. Should I tell the story? Yeah. So Parker, as we all know, arrived this, about six weeks early or so. And the well, day before, we, before, okay. before, but, you know, I'm telling the story. Six, okay, we'll sorry. Go six. But, but we brought her home, and the day we brought her home, we were busy with so many things, and, and her mom is so smart. She's like, we have to put Parker in the book, because Kai Navier in the what? book as well, and we're all involved. Oh, my goodness. Exactly. So she, she picks up the phone, calls Simon Schuster, and says, Can we, do we still have time? And they're like, oh, the, we're, we're closed. Like, it's down. And they, she said, we really would love to do something with, with Parker in the book. Mm -hmm. So they stopped the presses. They said, if you can have this picture here by morning, oh, wow. we will put it in the book. So we had to flip this thing and get it done taken. Oh, and this is the picture oh, right after after Parker came home. I mean, look at him. Look at and him. I know. And, and really, so you know, Virginia said it. She's like, you know, Parker arrived early because she wanted to be in this book. Absolutely. And it's one of, it is, the, it is it's hands down my favorite picture in the entire book. I just have to say, like, sitting here and knowing you for going yes. on six years now and seeing you two together yeah. and like Mark you go from becoming sort of our host to like a husband and a dad like you change and, yeah and I think just the, the synchronicity of like like Julie coming to the show having adopted Norbert like given Norbert love and then Norbert brought Julie to Mark and then Mark and Julie bring Parker into the world oh. so it's just like wonderful sort of a circle of life and then seeing yeah. like you all together as a family it's just oh my god it just it makes me so happy it's <laughs> sappy as all get out no, isn't it? it's beautiful it, well you know what I think it speaks to exactly what we do the initiative here yeah. is like adopt yeah. Pets, you never know the love and joy that they can un unlock in your it's life. So true. All of you single people out there, go <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and look what will happen. Even, you too could have this. this. You have a couple. You're a couple. Show. I mean, the wow. Julie, the, again, the the sayings in the book and his voice seems so simple, yet it's so profound. What would you say is the takeaway from this book? Um, I think it's just that, it, well, it's a book for people of all ages, for sure, and I think it just reminds us what's really important in life, you know, um, to take a breath and stay, step back and, and focus on that. Agreed, and you know, I will say, our family and friends here got the book, and each one of them flipped through, and there was a specific page that really spoke to each one of them. Norbert spoke to them personally. Oh, and, we're, and we're gonna start yeah. with Kim. Kim, what was your favorite? Well, obviously, Norbert and I were talking about beauty, mm. and he's a natural okay. beauty, doesn't need a lot of tips. No, no. But, you know, on a serious note, um, I will tell you, this was the one that spoke the most to oh. me. Um, if things don't feel rosy, focus on the blossoms, Aww. not the thorns. And um, I have to tell you, I think that um, what I see here, as Ken was pointing out with you two, is that Norbert is a beautiful instrument of truly Julie's voice yeah. and what mm. she's all about. And it just comes through him so beautifully. That's and so true. thank you That's for so sharing true. your beautiful voice with us. Thank you, Ken. Aww. What about you, Samantha? Well, this one just had me. Attitude is everything. <laughs> Be positive, even when it's a stretch. <laughs> and so much, you know, especially as a cancer survivor, positivity is yeah. something that has carried me through. I have a website called Gotta Make Lemonade, which is yeah. all inspiring positivity in the face of adversity, yes. right? And the fact that Norbert really just hit that on the nose and I love his little stretch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I do have to, as an aside, I have to say that baby photo, Reminded me so much of Mark, who came to my house one week after my second daughter was born, just a week old, and, and you were so delicate and careful with her because we, we wrapped her up like a present. Do you remember this? My yeah. older daughter was yeah. three and a half. She did not want to smile. She would not take any photos. <laughs> you got her laughing and smiling yeah. with the baby present in the background with a big bow tied around yeah. her. He's amazing. They're still on my wall. Yeah. He's amazing. Oh, thank he thank is. does not give himself enough accolades. He's a great photographer. What about well, you, with me, it's all about Parker because I've been pressuring him. It's like, you have to have a little girl. You have to have <laughs> yeah. that baby. You have to, you have yeah. to. Because he already does the wonderful dad jokes. Oh, you, you take the pun one. Like, <laughs> of course. Puns make people smile. I'm yeah. sorry, I was staring at you. Because he's on the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> you are like, That's hysterical. <laughs> that is very That's funny. Nice. It's, you know, <laughs> so dad jokes. Norbert's voice is kind of Mark's voice every once in a while. You guys, thank you so much. Thank and thank you, you, Norbert, for bringing these two humans together. Yes. And for your little sister. <laughs> Aww, Norbert's little lesson for a big life is available on NorbertHood.com right now and at all major retailers. And for your chance to win one of 20 signed copies of Julie's book, you can go to our Facebook 
page for more information. Stick around because coming up, Academy Award winner John Voigt and writer Ron Hall are sharing the very uplifting true life story that inspired the best selling book and new film. Plus, we are getting geared up for flu season and helping us with that is Dr. JJ. That's right, Mark. Every year, flu takes the lives of thousands of Americans. So let's talk about preventing the flu rather than getting it. But next, we are heading into the kitchen with Samantha Harris, who has a very healthy take on pasta primavera. I do. And don't be afraid by the word healthy, guys, okay? This is something that I'll be cooking up. It's a delicious red lentil pasta primavera that your kids are going to die for. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>